Oh boy, so this is a really crazy topic. Now, this is one of the things that I'm actually super happy to have discovered and have the absolute delight to bring to you here on the YouTube channel in a commentary format because this entire thing is so great. This is amazing right here. This is a look into the maturity of the Montreal Canadiens first overall pick from 2022, Yuri Slavkovsky, and what he had to say regarding all the comments about the World Juniors and his absence from the team, how he stayed with the Canadiens, etc., etc., etc. Now, just to set up a little bit of background, because I think this is kind of necessary to get into this kind of topic, Yuri Slavkovsky, young dude, 18 years old. He's still eligible for the World Juniors for next season. He was eligible for the most previous tournament that concluded. His team, had he decided, or not decided, but had he been allowed to go, would have been Team Slovakia. They played against Team Canada in a really tight game where they almost won, but they lost in overtime. We made a video after that series, or not series, but after that game concluded, saying that Yuri Slavkovsky kind of missed out. And with hindsight included, it's kind of easy to say that with the Slavkovsky stint of the nine games that he played from the time the World Junior Training Camp started up until the Slovak elimination by the hands of the Canadians, he only played nine games, he only had one point, he had 12 minutes of time and ice per game, and the Canadians only won once, I believe. It was really bad of a stint that Yuri Slavkovsky was a part of for the Canadians, and the video we made after the Slovak elimination pretty much said, hey, you know, with hindsight included, would you have wanted Slavkovsky to play with the Canadians and suck? Not him particularly, but the team sucked, and he was a part of that process of losing all these games and only getting one assist in the process. Would you have rather had that? Or would you have said, okay, well, Slovakia is going to have a pretty good run in this tournament. Why not let Slavkovsky play instead? We made the video. We talked about how Slavkovsky missed out. That was it. Now, the reason we're making this video is because Yuri Slavkovsky himself has actually spoken out about this idea. Take a look at this website. It's nhl.com slash sk slash news slash whatever the thing is. This is Yuri Slavkovsky's blog. And what this is, is a monthly check-in article blog, pretty much, of Yuri Slavkovsky on the Slovak version of NHL.com. This is not available on the English version of the website, as all of the material is written in the Slovak language. Slavkovsky contributes every month his thought process, what he's seeing at the NHL level, and he just kind of goes out there and shares his thoughts, which I think is really cool for a guy who's only 18 years old playing in the top pro men's league in the world in the NHL yet he's still going out there and finding the time to once a month make some really detailed blog posts about his perspective and his experiences. This is not English, so what I'm going to do is leave a link in the description to the article, and then I'm going to translate this myself from Slovak into English. What we're going to do is read most of this, because what Slavkovsky writes about is the idea of him missing out at the World Juniors and how he's responded to that. This is a really good, insightful look as to the man himself, Yuri Slavkovsky, and the title of the article reads that he expects ups and downs. The draft unit in the blog for NHL.com about the holidays, the World Junior Championship, and the unsuccessful series of games of the Habs. Author, Yuri Slavkovsky, exclusively for NHL.com slash SK. This was from January 8th, 2023. Let's take a look at what Slavkovsky has to say about the World Junior Championship. After the Christmas break, the NHL started again, but I'm glad that I could take a break from hockey for a while. I enjoyed the three days off and spent some time with the guys from our team who were here, since I had no family. It didn't even feel like Christmas, but the break was nice. I cleared my head from hockey. After Christmas, the World Junior Championship started and Slovakia performed very well. Unfortunately, I didn't see too many games because our boys played some good games and we just had training or we were on flights. However, I saw the most important matches. Americans, Canadians, I think that our boys gave an excellent performance. Canada had a great team that ended up winning it all, but our Slovak boys took the game to overtime and played great. It's just a shame they didn't have more luck in the end. When the quarterfinals were played, I was in Nashville, streaming it through my phone to a TV with Slovak commentary. I felt at home. It was nice to see the boys playing so well, and I enjoyed it. This is where things get more interesting, because it kind of relates to the idea we talked about in the prior video. I also heard, Slavkovsky said, what Simon Nemec said about me. 
that if I had played with Team Slovakia, I could have scored the goal in overtime. It's nice of him, and maybe that could have happened, but you never know. I never dwell on what if, but I kept my fingers crossed for the boys, and I'm sorry it didn't work out. It would have been sensational if it did. When I learned that I couldn't go to the World Juniors, I turned the page and I didn't think about it. We had a lot of injuries in Montreal, so they didn't even ask me about going to the Worlds. It was made clear that I would stay. I'm mainly trying to keep my place on the team here. Of course, I would have liked to represent Slovakia, I always would, but I'm here in the NHL for the first season and now I will mainly focus on staying here and gradually improving. I know the fans debated whether it would be better for my development to play with the juniors and get a lot of minutes there. Of course, adult hockey is more difficult. It's a different level. But I trust our management in the Montreal Canadian system in this regard. I'm sure they know what to do with me. And when they want me here, I won't say that I want to play with the younger guys. We haven't been doing very well with the Canadians lately, but I think that's just a part of the long road ahead of us to become a successful team, and that there will be ups and downs along the way. Now that... Oh man... Props to you, dude. I feel like I was a pretty mature 18-year-old when I was doing YouTube videos and talking about things as professionally as I try to be today, but this guy's got me beat. I don't know if he's got, like, a PR team writing this for him or whatever, but, like, firstly, the fact that Yuri Slavkovsky at 18 years old is contributing monthly blog posts to the NHL Slovak page, plus the fact that he's writing insightful things like this, where he's talking about how he really didn't dwell on not playing with Team Slovakia. He focused on what was in front of him. He focused on the NHL because he was there. They wanted him there. They didn't even ask him if he was going to go to the Worlds. He knew that he was confidently going to stay up in Montreal, and he wanted to focus all of his attention on that. The maturity, dude. This is a great, great character. Not even like hockey player, whatever, we're not talking about that, but just the personality behind that big frame. Magnificent. Now, we didn't do very well for about 10 games. I think he's referring to the stint of time wherein the Canadians were playing while the World Juniors was going on. That was the same stint of time that we had talked about in our video saying, hey, if Slavkovsky played at the World Juniors, he would have missed all these games where the Habs were losing over and over again. Uri says, though, that he was also struggling, but that's part of it. I'm sure we'll get through it and get better and better. I believe that my performance will improve as the performance of the whole team improves. It's one bad month. Maybe one day we'll laugh about it and say, remember when we played so bad? Then we broke it and finally got up? In short, that's part of it. We have to learn from it and take it seriously, but we must not dwell in it too much. We know that the next match will come quickly, and in it, another opportunity to turn it around. Bravo, dude. Like, bravo. I can't say anything more other than this guy has a fantastic head on his shoulders. He is wise beyond his years. I personally don't like using that phrase all too much because I'm only 22 years old. Like, I don't really feel like I have the authority to say that people are wise beyond their years because, I mean, my years are pretty limited as well as they are. But Yuri Slavkovsky at 18 years old, this guy is so freaking good at saying the right thing. I don't know if there's like a PR team behind this, but at the end of the day, PR team or not, this is like perfect. This is absolutely perfect. He addresses the ideas of why he was held back and how he felt about the whole thing and how it would have been nice to represent Team Slovakia. Maybe he even could have scored the overtime goal against Canada, but it's not something that he's thinking about. How this is not really the main focus that he had. He couldn't dwell on not being selected for the World Juniors or not being allowed to go. Excuse me. He had to focus on the Canadians. And sure, they played poorly, but he's got a positive attitude behind it. This is a great hockey player, dude. Like, I'm so excited to seeing what Slavkovsky is going to become, because I think yesterday he played his career high in time on ice per game, something like that, 16 minutes or whatever for the Habs in their game against the, oh boy, who did they play? Was it the Predators? Was it the P.K. Subban thing? Ay ay ay. Yeah, it was the Predators, right? The Carey Price, the P.K. Yeah, that was amazing. But Yuri Slavkovsky played a lot. He had a pretty okay game. But as he's getting older, as he matures and gets more used to the National Hockey League, watch out. Because this guy's only 18 years old, and he's already looking like a pretty solid enough middle six capable, defensively responsible, board winning, board winning, board battle winning, excuse me, forward. So all we gotta do is wait for him to just grow and learn and get used to this because he's already doing that and making it known in these blog posts that he is. So 
Talk to the comments all your thoughts about Yuri Slavkovsky and this amazing, just spectacular blog post that he made on the Slovak version of the NHL website. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go ahead and read this yourself. We already did read the whole thing, and I feel comfortable enough doing that because the article isn't in English, so we just translated it and did it here. But if you wanted to go out there, share it with your friends, whatever, it's there in the description. You can go nuts. But let me know in the comments all your thoughts about Slavkovsky. I hope you enjoyed this video. And... Bye.